Welcome everyone to another one of my video tutorials and today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to head up, set up multiple scenes in Blender so you can make a simple uh, text pre-roll and pre-roll is the information or video that easily uh, precedes a, uh, <coughs> a video you know like shake your credit to your titles or whatever so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you a technique I've come up with and we're going to use the orthographic camera and I'm also going to show you how in cycles how you can fade your text from uh, from opaque to transparent using the material nodes <coughs> and uh, that's what we're going to cover today so you get started here we're going to make a new scene and this is going to be a fictitious uh, movie studio <laughs> we're going to call this first scene uh, Vector Studios All right, and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to set up our camera. We're going to use an orthographic camera. Let's scroll out there a little bit. <coughs> you can uh, press Alt R to uh, reset the rotation. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put it at. Uh, we're going to move its location to zero. And the X zero in the Y. And we're going to use five blender units for the distance. <laughs> so this is the front ortho. If we look down from the uh, top, <coughs> it's seven. We're looking right down from the top. And uh, we're going to go back here. We're going to add some text. We're going to put the name of the studio. So you can go Shift A and text. And that will put us our text. Now you want to go look at the, uh, let's see where you're at. And what I want to do with the text is I want to go from the center. We're going to do that. <coughs> so this can be named our studio. We're going to call it Vector Studios. Same name as the scene file. And we're going to hit tab. Oop. Videos. And then uh, tab. Okay. So now we've got Vector Studios here, and uh, I'll turn off this stuff. <coughs> but anyway, what I want to demonstrate here is you also notice when your camera here that uh, triangle there when it's pointing up, that's the up on the camera. And uh, we're using the orthographic camera because what we're displaying here is just simple text. We're going to do some titles, and also I want to set our world background color to black, like so. And uh, we're going to close this window over here. Pull over here. We're going to go to our nodes editor. And we're going to add a material to this. And uh, what I've been doing is I'll show you this technique I've got. We'll point this out. <coughs> we're going to add a uh, emission shader, which emits, emits light on its own. And we're going to add a mix shader. Let's space things out. Pull this one out here a little bit. Right here. Connect that. And then we're going to add a transparent shader. Right here. Like so. We're going to combine these two together. Okay. Now I'm going to use red here for this example. We're going to use a pure RGB red. And you can uh, use your eyedropper here to pick up that same color. So now we can uh, move this aside temporarily. <coughs> and we'll go to hit zero to go to the uh, camera view. And you can see here that we've got just this red text. And uh, <coughs> what you want to do is you want to animate the uh, we go all to well, well it's one in the factor in the mixed shader. It's um, it's completely transparent. If you go back, it's completely on the emission shader. So what I want to do is here, I want to make a 60 frame uh, where it fades from opaque to transparent. So we're going to click on the factor over here in the material nodes editor, like so, and then we're going to go up say. Uh, We'll go up 30 frames just for this sample here. 
<coughs> and now we're going to go the other way completely transparent and then we'll hit I on that and we'll see here we'll uh, do a test render on this not a test render but a render in the view viewport here and so we'll just make this 30 frames and we'll close this temporarily and we'll go back to our first frame and you see it goes from opaque to transparent now what I want to do is I want to break this up into I want to have a another scene that says something else and so we're gonna, what we're going to do here we're going to go up here to our scene and hit the plus arrow and we're going to say full copy all right so another thing I noticed in other tutorials they never really point out to you but you can see these new scenes in your outliner here uh, it's called Vector Studios 1. We're going to rename that. The first one is our Vector Studios. This is uh, Vector Studios 1. What we're going to do is uh, we'll go to uh, Solid. And we'll just uh, hit Tab. And we'll edit this text. And we'll say this is Presents. Like so. And we'll go out of that. And we'll call this scene Presents. Now, since it's a full copy of the scene, what we're getting here is we're getting the same, uh, same, uh, the same settings here, and this is doing the fade from opaque to transparent also. You see, okay, now we got that one. Okay, that's thirty, and it's thirty frames long, of course. And over here, you can see we've renamed it. It's called Presents. This is called Vector Studios. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go back here going to add a new we're going to say full copy and that one we'll just call this uh, vector studios presents the vector movie and we'll call this the vector movie like that and we'll just go and edit the text call this the vector movie and see it's a little bit big and it's outside the frame but what we can do is you can go over your orthographic camera in uh, this new layer, in the vector movie, we go over to our camera and pull this out a little bit right here. And what you can do, you can just adjust your orthographic scale a little bit. We're going to go the other way here, and that will put it right in the center. So you don't really have to move the uh, actual text itself or anything, you just change your orthographic scale just a little bit so okay and we'll uh, pull this back over here and like I say nobody ever pointed this out to me but these uh, scenes that show up in your outliner here so I just thought that might be helpful to anybody out there these are your scenes and they're all lined up in the outliner here so uh, we'll go over to render and this will do the exact same thing as the others it'll fade from opaque to transparent like so. Now, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to show you it's uh, when I tried this initially, I was un I was kind of making an assumption about uh, doing the composite or uh, rendering about the I had a little <coughs> I had it wrong about the uh, video editing, but uh, I tried to do this, and what I did is I tried just adding the scenes individually, and you can add. Uh, you can, you can, but, and all these are 30 long, so let's say we're going to make this 90 all together. You can add these scenes in here, and you can, uh, you know, you can space them out here. Let's see what the other scene is, uh, the vector movie. And move it up to another channel right here and so we've got like a 90 second thing but I thought you could do this and apparently you can't uh, I selected all three of these and thought I could just go ahead and run out the whole thing and be done with it well unfortunately you can work with this in here but it will just show you your scenes uh, if you try to run them out, it, it doesn't work. Uh, it it uh, you still have to render these scenes individually, 
And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll do a follow-up video on how to use the compositor and how to take what we've done here. We, we, what it amounts to, you have to go to each scene separately and uh, render it individually. But anyway, I just wanted to show everybody that, and I thought that might be helpful. Uh, this is a pretty good little technique, and uh, you, you only need an orthographic camera and some simple text. You don't have to convert the text to a mesh or anything. But uh, anyway, thanks for viewing, and I'll be doing a follow-up video on how to uh, bring all this together. Uh, how to, you know, you can render these.